Welcome Aries and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a bonus singles love reading for October 2020. Please always keep in mind however time is fluid so whenever you view this it may represent a past, a present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate and even if it does be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box. If you would ever like to skip ahead this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now we have You Deserve Love, and Taurus just had that exact same card. And we have Flirt, which says, Extend your lighthearted energy to others. You deserve love. It's okay to have fun. You know, it's okay to put yourself out there to date, to get to know somebody, you know. All right. Who is this new love for Aries, please, Spirit? Who's coming in for Aries, please? What messages do we have in love for our single Aries, please, Spirit? Page of Wands could be a fellow fire sign, or maybe you're the younger air sign. I'm sorry, fire sign. I keep wanting to say air, like it's right there on the tip of my tongue. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or possibly an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because it's so heavily on my mind right now. Um, but this is news, a messenger, a very flirtatious, a very fun energy. Okay, okay, it's like here we go. Ooh. Now, for some of you, I mean, it could be like a childhood sweetheart or a past love. Now, I don't feel like there's any toxic ex here. So, for those of you who are about to leave me a comment and say, oh, it's not a past person. I don't want the old love. The Six of Cups doesn't always mean that there's an ex returning to your life. Sometimes past life love, past life energy can be past life. You know, you've known each other in previous lifetimes to this one, okay? Your souls know each other. They recognize each other. There's a very deep connection that feels possibly like home with a new love, okay? Uh, Six of Cups, this is about equal give, equal take. It's like, I replenish you, you replenish me. I feel like in the past, we have you deserve love here. You are lovable. It's like, you know, sometimes when I see this card, especially how it sits here, it's like no matter how much you gave, okay, you gave your time, your energy, your love, you know, your 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 attention, you gave your money, whatever, you gave it all away and you had nothing left for yourself. No matter how much you seem to have gave to the past, they took all they could take, they didn't replenish anything, they didn't value or appreciate you. This new energy is not trying to do that. They're trying to give equally to this. There's a lot of attraction here. Extend your lighthearted energy to others this is about meeting new people this is about enjoying yourself and for me the flirt card isn't like i say it's not even about going out and dating it can be especially in a singles reading but it's about enjoying yourself it's about you know being more lighthearted. it's about i'm hearing finding out who you are what you enjoy it's about spending time with your friends and your family and doing things you know self-care you know going to get your nails done or Get your beard trimmed or whatever guys do, right? You get what I'm saying? It's about doing things that, you know, make you feel good about yourself or that excite you, you know? It's like maybe it doesn't have to be 9 to 5 every day and doom and gloom, you know? It's like maybe some of you have been sitting in this energy of frustration from past situations and fear of new love, of really opening your heart to be vulnerable. And I know in a lot of you guys' general readings, I've been picking up a lot of pain, um, even like trauma, PTSD, sleepless, restless energy for some of you guys. Um, and you're just working past that. You're trying to find things that you enjoy. This is a very creative. This is new. This is exciting. This is adventure. This is also passion. Passion. Yeah, definitely. Feel like there's, there's some physical passion here. All right. There's some physical passion. Okay. Attraction. Deep chemistry. But it's also passion for life. Passion for these new adventures. These new opportunities. These new possibilities here. Feeling excited about the future. For maybe the first time in a long time. Maybe after a very painful ending. You're feeling emotional. Maybe confused. Because maybe somebody was too childish and immature to appreciate the Queen of Cups that you are. That is Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now the Queen of Cups is somebody who's very loving and understanding intuitive empathetic this is somebody who's a healer male or female okay and you know no matter how much you seem to give to the past they just took it they never appreciated it this is about you moving past those past energies that past pain and again time energy is fluid this could have resonated from a past situation that happened you know two three years ago could have been, could have happened yesterday it could happen next month right time is fluid queen of cups yet again so there you are. 
feeling a bit emotional, a bit nervous, but here comes the call. Are you going to pick up the phone? Are you going to answer it? I mean, I'm kind of seeing somebody receiving a message, you know, receiving news, communication from someone. I don't know if I can trust it. I don't know if I can, you know, revisit this. For some of you, I do want to say this, and again, this is going to be a very specific message maybe for just a handful of Aries out there. Some of you actually may be reconnecting with past love, okay? For those of you where it's not a, a brand new energy coming in, it could be a past love that maybe it didn't get off the ground, it was at the wrong place, wrong time kind of thing. It's like if we had just met, you know, a few years before or a few years later kind of thing. Or, you know, you always kind of both mutually liked each other but were afraid to ruin your friendship or the situation the two of you had, you know, that kind of connection. You could have even had family acquaintances or friends or something. And that made things kind of complicated kind of thing. I, I don't know why. I'm going to say what I'm going to say. And please know this is probably for one very specific person i don't know who you are but this is a message that i that there, i need to pass some of you may have been married to someone and very attracted to like an old friend of like your husband's or maybe your wife's i feel more it's, like it's a masculine energy um like you had a lot of chemistry with this person but it's like you left this person or they left you or they cheated or something happened and you got disconnected from each other and now like you're nervous to take this to the next level because, you know, the, there was a past history there or there used to be a mutual connection of some sort. Like maybe somebody was married to the family somehow. Like, I, I don't feel like you're blood related to this person, anything like that. I kind of feel like there was some kind of connection to like family, friends or like a spouse or something that's no longer an issue. And now it's like you're free to explore this. Now, that's probably very specific. I, I, I don't know where that's coming from. Hopefully, whoever needed to hear that message understands what I'm saying there. But it feels like the door is open. Now you're going to pick it up. You're maybe afraid of confusion here. For others of you, there's an energy coming in here for you that just, there's attraction, there's passion, there's, you know, a lot of emotions involved here. You're a little bit nervous. But, you know, Spirit's advice is to enjoy this energy. Extend your lighthearted energy to have fun, you know, just to kind of see where it goes. The Justice card, that's Libra energy. Like, say, if one of you could have been married in a higher level of commitment in the past. Um, but this is about riding some wrongs. It's like, you know, the right thing, a balanced energy, two cards coming out. We have the eight of, um, wands and the eight of pentacles that is fire and earth energy. This feels like you're working really hard on moving forward, moving forward in life. Maybe you work with this person or go to school with them. I mean, I've seen a lot of positivity here. We have the tower, that Scorpio energy, a decision, strong Scorpio energy, a decision in regards to stability. Someone's nervous about rocking the boat. Uh, about uh, making an offer. You could be afraid it may end a connection or a situation if you say what you want to say. So it's like you're being very strategic with your words and how you initiate this conversation with this person. I also feel like they're doing the same thing. Like you're both a little bit nervous. Like you're both waiting for some, the other person to make the first move here because you're afraid of losing something or they don't know if you're ready for a connection uh, from past pains. But it's like you you're asking them questions, okay? Like you're asking them questions, trying to figure out, you know, what they want, what they like, who they are. It's kind of like unexpected, this connection, but I mean, I see a lot of positivity here and I see you just like getting to know this person, a lot of communication, a lot of working together here. All right, so Aries, this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye.